Sup guys, it's Jacob here. What's going on? Merry Christmas. It's the 23rd of December today. I don't know when this video is going to come out. Hopefully in December, if not early January. But uh, look, I want to welcome you to, once again, Rugby Player Reacts to Jalen Ramsey for the third year in a row. I've been doing this video series for three years. It's going to be an annual thing on this channel. You know, I'm in a place right now where I, I, I do feel inspired to make content and, I, and I, I'm able to make content, you know what I mean? I've got no distractions. I may be a little bit loud. In fact, I, I do want to apologize to my flatmates because it is only 7.34 in the morning. But with all that being said, guys, I feel like this one's gonna, it's gonna bring in a fair few viewers, you know? Even if you are, well, basically, you know, a guy like Jalen Ramsey is polarizing. We'll call him that. You're gonna either love him or hate him, but the main thing, it doesn't matter what you feel about him, you're gonna feel it for genuine reasons. He is himself, you know what I mean? He is himself, he, uh, he doesn't hold back. He plays with his heart on his sleeve, and you have to respect that at the end of the day. He's number 37 on the list. Let's, let's listen. I don't, I don't really need to do any research on this guy. I've done it enough. You know, I liked it when he played for the Jags. The Jags are my team, even though they're one in 13. They're looking like they might even get the first pick of the first round of the 2021 draft. And if the Jags end the 2020 season with the first pick in the 2021 draft, you can, you can guarantee I'm gonna be up for that definitely be up for that. Anyways guys, let's have a look at Jalen Ramsey. What in the actual fuck? Jalen Ramsey actually, come to think of it, left the Jags halfway through the season in 2019, is that right? Which was seen as an interesting move. He, he got paid by the Rams. In fact, I do believe in the first couple of weeks after we went to the Rams, they didn't actually do that well, and I think the Jags actually did better than the Rams, so I was thinking, shame on you, Ramsey, but at the end of the day, Fournette's gone, Ramsey's gone, Foles is gone. Seems like the whole team's gone, but I haven't. I'm always gonna back the Jags, and you can count on that. Anyways, I, I've gotta say, I, I hope that this is not the welcome party for Jalen Ramsey at the Rams, although I feel like it might be. If, if Jalen Ramsey kicks these doors open and jumps out, I'm gonna laugh. Actually, what I will say is that if that was food, if that is, if that's bags of food, or possibly shoes because they're saying feel the boost, are they talking about Adidas uh, Ultra Boost shoes? Is he giving away shoes for charity? If he is, what an absolute legend. A good lockdown corner is valuable, but in October, the Jaguars traded Jalen Ramsey to the Rams. If you're keeping the ball away from Julio Jones, you're doing well. Absolutely irreplaceable. Can't replace good talent. Can't replace good talent. Not a lot of DBs is that tall, that fast. And he gonna talk to you. And he can't. You better than me in this league. You better be. Fuck, bro. Come on. Um, you know. You say he's tall? I think he's six foot one, isn't he? Yeah, six one, 94 kg. Jags now at the Rams. First team all pro in 2017. Four Pro Bowls straight from 17 to 20. Because if you're not, he's going to let you know about it and he's going to make plays. That's a matchup I'd love to see. Let go! <laughs> Anywhere you at on the field, you know, he's. Now, I don't know. About it and he's going to make plays. Don't you just love it? Do you not just love that? He's only six foot one. He looks tall, but he's not. Gabriel's just five foot nine. Anywhere you at on the field, you know, he's somewhere near. DJ Shark! He can sit at a depth and react quickly. 
Trubisky climbs the throw. Down the right side, and it completes. That was a tremendous play by Jalen Ramsey. Down Let's the have a look at this. He saw the wheel route and came off the deep route in order to knock that thing away from Roderick. You know you have to be physical with the catch, because as soon as you catch it, you know. What was what was what was the uh, the swing route guys man doing? Thirty two. Eighty two. This is the guy here who lets him go. Which is fair, you know, at that point he's kinda of compromised. He would have had to hold him. He actually tried to um, communicate with Ramsey. At this point right now, he, he says, well, he sort of went like that. He's like, right, um, the ball's coming. I don't know if Ramsey saw him or not. I feel like Ramsey just used his intuition to know that the ball was coming, turn around and break that pass up. You know you have to be physical with the catch because as soon as you catch it, you know a uh, big corner is running through you. So he's considered a big corner. If you do how tall or how fast was he? 441. 41 and a half inch vertical jump. 11 foot 3 broad jump. That's fucking ridiculous. But I do want to look at prime time. I want to see how tall he was. <laughs> the, um, Deion Sanders. So, San, so, so prime time. Uh, six foot one, once again, same height. I'd say prime time's probably, I don't know, maybe a, a tenth of a second faster over the 40 yard dash. But as far as their style of play, as far as their ego goes, whilst on the field, I'd say they're a carbon copy. Great play there by Jalen Ramsey, playing the back shoulder, making sure that he still has a hand on the receiver and reaches over and pops it up. You know, I think he always plays with confidence. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, even if you even if you catch a ball or beat him one play or something like that, you know, he's always looking to make a play. Garoppolo sits it. He deals. It's intercepted. Jalen Ramsey at the twenty. Garoppolo sits it. He deals. It's Holy shit! Did this guy do high jump? He must have. He was a two sports star in football and track and field. Highly de decorated high school track career. Uh, he shattered the Tennessee state record in the long jump with a mark of 25 feet, 3.25 inches, breaking a 16-year-old record. As of 2016, no other athlete in TSSAA history has, has surpassed the 25-foot mark. I'm not fucking surprised. Ramsey competed in the events ranging from the 100 meters to the shot put. As a sprinter, he recorded personal best times of 10.5 flat in the 100 meter dash, 21.44 in the 200 meter dash, 48.02 in the 400 meter dash, personal bests of six foot eight inches in the high jump, and 47 feet seven inches in the triple jump. He also posted a top throw of 49, uh, 49 feet 11 inches in the shot put. Now all I really wanted to see was the high jump. Now six foot eight, six foot 183, Eight inches, eight two and a half, eight twos, uh, 20, 108. So that's over two meters, over two meters tall for the high jump. 10.5 in the 100 meter dash. Yeah, this might be the second coming of um, prime time. All he needs is a, a nickname. What is his nickname? I'm gonna call him PT2. PT2. I just made that up. Um, Jalen Ramsey. Nickname. <sighs> he doesn't have a nickname. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm gonna say it right now. PT2. Jalen Ramsey at the 25. He breaks his tackle outside left at the 35 of stiff arm. And Ramsey. He's got a stiff arm too. With LA. And then he tries to get somewhere with it. That's what you want. This is what you're paying this guy for. I stiffied his ass. Well, you could take that more than one way, I think. Great job of just showing man to man, <laughs> dropping into zone, confusing the quarterback. Jalen Ramsey's able to undercut the deep out route, goes up and gets it. Oh, oh, 
play like this, not nobody can beat us, dog. You know, I think he's one of those corners who isn't just trying to get by. I mean, he's not just trying to be in the right spot. He's trying to make a play. You know, he's trying to do something to impact the game. Breaking it every round. They got no chance. You lock up anybody. You just lie up your side. Let's go. Boy, man, real talk. You the best out there. I'm glad I'm about to tell you different. Yo, 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 I'd have to agree. You know what, man? After reading that athletic resume of Jalen Ramsey, I am, I am so impressed. I am so impressed, and I'm not, I'm not surprised he, he put up those numbers at the Combine because, you know, he was balling out like that uh, even as a young whippersnapper. Ensworth High School in Nashville, Tennessee. He then transferred to Brentwood Academy in Brentwood, Brentwood uh, where he set those records. TSSA, the Tennessee Secondary School Athletic Association. He's got some records. His name's Jalen Ramsey, and his new nickname is PT2. All right, guys, this next one is, uh, is what, holy shit. Well, I'm finally gonna have a look at Nick Chubb, the running back from the Browns, who's been absolutely killing it this year. In fact, in my recent live streams, I put up a question, I said to the chat, look, Who's been the best performing running back this year? And there was two names that came up. Derek Henry, who was in the top 10 of this list, and Nick Chubb. Now I've seen Derek Henry stiff arm guys into the stratosphere, but I have not seen Nick Chubb do anything. I don't know how tall he is. I feel like he's probably under six foot. I feel like he's probably over 225 pounds. And I feel like he's probably around about a 445 to 450 yard dash. But as far as his juke moves, as far as his spin moves, as far as his jump cuts, hurdles, all that shit, even catching the ball, I've got absolutely no idea and that's what makes this video exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour myself another coffee and I'm, I'm just going to get ready for this one because this, is, this could well be one of my favourite players. If I trust what you guys are telling me, this most likely will be one of my favourite players. But it's not this video, it's the next one. So guys, if you've liked this one, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe and you haven't yet, thanks in advance, please do. Honestly guys, if I don't know what's coming out on this channel next, then you certainly don't know. The possibilities are endless guys. Look at this fucking monitor. Look at this place I'm in. It's absolutely fantastic. And it's really setting me up for a December, or the rest of December, full of content. And that's what we're trying to do. Today's date is Wednesday the 23rd of December. I want to say once again, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.